Hola clase, today we talked about um, Basic Conversations Part 2. The title of Basic Conversation Notes should be Mucho Gusto, or Nice to Meet You. And it says that we're going to notice how certain speakers introduce themselves and others. Then we're going to practice what we have learned to make introductions. So what I would like you to do, your assignment would be to copy down the Spanish, leave space in between so that we can go back and write the English translation. Additionally, I want you to practice the pronunciation of each conversation at home. All right, so here we go. The first conversation, copy down Esteban and Diana, what they say, leave a space in between, we're going to translate it. But right now, I'm also going to play the audio. So as you're copying it down, listen to the audio. Lección preliminar. Mucho gusto. Ah. Hola. Me llamo Esteban. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Diana. Encantado, Diana. Igualmente. All right, I'm going to pause that here, and we're going to talk about this conversation real quick. So Esteban says, hola, me llamo Esteban. So hello, my name is Esteban. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo te llamas? And you, what is your name? This ¿Cómo te llamas? would be the two form of asking her what is her name. That is the informal way to ask someone their name. So, como te llamas? Beside here, write tú. All right, and you, the two form, como te llamas? Diana responds, me llamo Diana. My name is Diana. And then Esteban says, encantado, Diana. She says, igualmente. So, encantado with an O because Esteban is a boy. So, encantado with an O because he's saying, he's responding to about himself with an o. Encantado means pleased to meet you. Igualmente means likewise. So copy that down in your notes. Let's look at B, how to introduce someone. So let's listen. B, te presento a Esteban. Encantada. Igualmente. C, perdón. What's your part? So Diana says, te presento a Esteban. Encantada, igualmente. So, te presento a Esteban. I'd like you to meet Esteban. I'd like to introduce you to Esteban. Encantada, nice to meet you or pleasure to meet you. Ends in an A because Ana's a girl. And then they both say igualmente. Likewise, nice to meet you too. So, pleasure to meet you, likewise. I'd like you to meet Esteban. Pleasure to meet you, likewise. Te presento a would be the two form or the familiar form, the informal way of asking someone or presenting someone. All right, let's look at C. I think I need to rewind this a little bit. Igualmente. All right, so here's C. C. Perdón, ¿cómo se llama? Me llamo Raquel Daza. All right, so perdón, excuse me, ¿cómo se llama? What is your name? This would be the usted form, the formal way of someone of asking someone their name. And then she says, me llamo Raquel Daza. My name is Raquel Daza. So formal way. You have como te llamas would be the informal. Como se llama would be the formal. Last conversation on this page. Here we go. D. Le presento a Ana Vega. Mucho gusto. El gusto es mío. All right, so le presento a Ana Vega. She's talking to someone older than her, so sign of respect. You're going to use the usted form, le presento, as opposed to te presento. Le presento, I'd like to introduce you to Ana Vega. He says, mucho gusto, nice to meet you. El gusto es mío. The pleasure is all mine. I would use el gusto es mío if you were trying to um, flatter someone, like, oh, pleasure is all mine. It shows a little bit more flattery. All right, let's go to page seven. On page seven, E, F, and G, these dialogues are going to be talking about the third person. Third person. So let's listen to the first one. A. Hey, ¿Quién es? ¿Es Raúl? No. Es Juan. If. Right. So, ¿Quién es? Who is that? Es Raúl. Is it Raúl? No, es Juan. Nope, it's Juan. Copy those down. F part. He's asking about this girl here. B. 
¿Cómo se llama? Se llama Diana. So what is her name? Se llama Diana. Her name is Diana. Notice he's not saying me llamo because he's no longer talking about himself. He's talking about her name. Se llama. Third person. Notice it's the same question as the usted form. ¿Cómo se llama? What is your name? If you're going to talk to someone in the usted form. So in this case, it's also the third person saying, what is her name or his name? You could say, ¿Cómo se llama? All right, let's look at our last conversation. All right, so here we go. Hey, ¿se llama Miguel? Sí, se llama Miguel Luque. All right, ¿se llama Miguel? Is his name Miguel? Sí, yes, se llama Miguel Luque. His name is Miguel Luque. So that's a quick run through of how to introduce yourself and someone else to another person. These are on page six and seven of Ivan Samos. And that's your translation as well. So practice those pronunciations as well as those conversations. Okay, chicos. Adios.